and host Mondo. Let's do this. Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Universal Studios Hollywood for Halloween Horror Nights opening day. Not only follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the color bell. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Today's opening day of Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Back with a vengeance. We got lots of houses to do from The Exorcist, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Haunting of Hill House, Halloween 4, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and uh, The Curse of Pandora's Box. And then most importantly, can't forget about the Terror Tram, The Ultimate Purge. I did have a chance to do team member preview, which was on Tuesday. But today's the grand opening for the public. I'm so excited and hyped. I can't wait to go through all of these terrifying mazes uh, and just see if there's any changes from Tuesday to Thursday as today is the final product. Uh, we are here super early, super early. So we can uh, do the opening ceremony and hopefully be able to be in the front uh, as it does tend to get quite packed. In today's experience, we did purchase uh, Express. So we purchased a general admission with Express, which means we could do front of the line for each maze and the Terror Tram one time. Uh, we'll see how fast or how long it takes us to do all the mazes. Uh, the one thing today too, we're gonna do some of the foods uh, and I do wanna kind of get a feel of the wait times because I know that's a very big question that we have and it's hard to predict something like that. So we'll see how it, the trends and uh, the crowds go from opening to close. Hopefully we get the chainsaw chase out as well, which happens at the very closing of the event. Uh, today's gonna be a very late day. It's gonna go beyond midnight. So we got a lot to cover. If you uh, are ready for some Halloween Horror Nights, get your popcorn ready, because we got a lot of stuff to do, everybody. Let's four. <clears throat> Finally walked in to Universal Studios Hollywood for Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. We got Andre, Mr. Scary Dre himself. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what are you most excited for today, Andre? Uh, I'm excited to finally go through all the mazes since, you know, we couldn't have anything last year. So I am just super ready. I'm super excited for Haunting of Hill House. So Thank I'm definitely you. looking forward to that maze a lot. And we have got word that there's no ceremony. And then there's rumor that there's possibly like an audio kind of ceremony. Uh, we're just going to wait it out, see what happens. Uh, but if anything, we understand if it doesn't happen, it's okay. Yeah. We're just appreciative to have Halloween back, baby. Yes. <laughs> the, day's, the day's finally here, Andre. It's finally here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to stay late enough to see the Chainsaw Chase. Oh, yeah. We're going to see it all, everybody. Dude. And, and most importantly, what do we got back, Andre? The Fire Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. All right, Andre. Let's fire it up, let's dog. Let's do it. The Shadows Fade and Spirits. These gates will open to hail your defeat. Nightmares told you are about to endure. will haunt your dreams forevermore. This is not the test. This is your emergency broadcast system. 
Demon City, everybody. You guys ready? No. God. Well, I am. <laughs> hey, today is a little bit more scary than Tuesday, bro. Oh, yeah. The energy is high. High, the bro. The scare actors are ready to go, man. Oh, yeah. No. 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 You ready, Daddy? So today is definitely a lot scarier than uh, team member preview. But we're gonna start off with Haunting of Hill House. As I was saying earlier, you gotta walk through uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Uh, I actually helped some people coordinate uh, their path this way because they were like, uh, do you know where Haunting of Hill House is? You have a camera, you look like you know what you're doing. I was like, <laughs> I was like just trust me. Yeah, just go that way, go, go all the way down. All the way down yeah. to the Wizarding World. Yeah. Like, Are you I was like, I'm not messing if with you. If you see Harry Potter, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> If you see a Dementor, you're going the right way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't know if projections are going to happen or if a dark art show is going to happen. Uh, it's not clear, but we'll find out when we come back. As I was telling everybody, you got to walk all the way down the Wizarding World we're, of Harry we're Potter. We're about to uh, walk into the new Hagrid's expansion. <laughs> this is where Diagon Alley's going to go. Oh, we just saw Slash. Did you see Stone Slash? That was crazy. Hey, most important, John Burton, too. All right, everybody. You got to walk through the backside, and this is how you get to the Haunting of Hill House. I know it's a little confusing to tell people to go through Harry Potter land, but uh, it's just the way it's going to go. One thing to note as well, September 9th all the way to October 31st is Halloween Horror Nights over here at Universal. So we're walking down the pathway right now, all the way to the backside by Curious George parking lot. Uh, this is the only pathway uh, to get to the Haunting of Hill House and also uh, Pandora's, the Curse of Pandora's Box. All right, everybody, we finally made it to the very backside uh, by Curious George parking lot. They do have restrooms back here. This is where you come to do the Haunting of Hill House, the Curse of Pandora's Box. Haunting of Hill House is to the left and then uh, Curse of Pandora's Box is to the right side. We're gonna start off the day with uh, the Haunting of Hill House. Oh, I'm so nervous. Honestly, the lines are not too bad uh, to start off the day. That's probably like maybe a 20 minute wait. We're currently waiting right now in the Express, which is on the back side over here. Uh, this is what the crowds look like. It says it's about a 45 minute wait right now. We are using Express. Uh, we have only waited maybe uh, five minutes or so. Uh, and we're over here already at the front. So Express is definitely uh, worth it so far for the Honey and Hell House. We'll see how the Express uh, experience goes throughout the day. I know it's got pretty expensive now uh, as the opening day has come, but uh, I'll let everybody know how it went and if it's worth the money.
keep waking us all up. Look at the stars. He's driving the car to sleep at the table. He's driving the car to sleep at the table. He's driving the car to sleep at the table. reactions bro dude that was really good they did a really good depiction of all the characters from the movie and then the whole Nell sequence so I liked it I liked it a lot what'd you think Chris honestly okay so don't plan me but I haven't seen the show <laughs> so I have no, no, no idea what'd you think of the scares that good 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 since I was here on Tuesday I kind of knew what to expect but there was still parts where I forgot what was gonna happen and I'm just like, yeah, like the <laughs> oh yeah dude hey. They added a lot of scares from Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's definitely more people out there, and it's nice because you actually get to get scared, which is what we want to do. I noticed a lot more details this time around. Yeah, yeah. And, and the scares, like the points are where everybody actually get jumped up and stuff like that, we're like really on point for yeah. sure. What happened to the rest of our group, uh, dude? I think they got stuck in the house, dog. <laughs> yeah, they made yeah, a wrong turn. The ghost got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good <job. laughs> What'd you guys think? Oh, it's scary. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, dude. Dude, that <laughs> no. defy fires. This maze is freaking insane. Oh my god. The creativity, right? The yes, scares, right? yes. It's not just like one side, it's like above you from oh. the back. I don't like it. <laughs> Damn, what's that? A heart attack in there? <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs, in between. Yeah. That was awesome. My fires, right? Yeah. So you guys just got out. Honey Hill House. You got the low perspective. Yeah, There's scares from the top, the bottom, everywhere. Seriously. There's a giant dude with Oh, he's he's there, down at my level. Oh, he came down to you? Damn. They're giving her so much attention <laughs> with the wheelchair. It's crazy. <laughs> but hunting a hit house, I like, we like it. That was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Yeah. And the mom yeah. came right at me with the teacup and crawled over the set. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sure. love how, and they told the story too. It was no, really well done. Sure. It was awesome. Okay, recommend okay. it. Recommend it. <laughs> Up next, we got oh Curse gosh. of Pandora's Box. Yeah. Up next, we're going to do the Curse of Pandora's Box. It's, it's down here, uh, over here by Curious George. The line's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. And this is uh, probably about 8 o'clock now, so an hour into the event. Uh, but we're still going to use our express because we paid so much money for it. So, Danny, we actually did first the Pandora's Box uh, 2019. Yes, we did. We're going to go through it right now and we'll see uh, how it competes or if it's the same or if anything's different. We're going to find out. Yeah, so far on the outside, uh, it looks pretty similar. Yeah.
what? Then pre then the past version. I Ooh. heard a lot of screaming in that background. Yeah, dude. That one got Chris really. Well, good. the one the one inside the cave. In the cave with, with the, the wall. Orange. With the wall. Literally. Yeah. Oh man. What did you guys see? That was awesome. Oh my god. I can't believe how many times I jumped. <laughs> They put think, me man? by myself. That was horrible. <laughs> I'm never doing that by myself again. The okay. What's that one room with like? It looked like you're in church with the pews. Oh, like oh. With, the, with the big seats. Yes. There's this guy who's like on stilts, and I'm in there by myself, of course. And of course, I've got the group of scary teenagers right behind me, bah, like this. And they like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Hey, visually, it's beautiful though. Oh, it's gorgeous. Andre, what do you think? It's a little it's a little bit better than from 2019, big improvement, uh, some new effects that I noticed this time around. Overall, this walkthrough is still kind of the same, but still enjoyable, as, yeah. as good as it was in 2019. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I, I like, I, I feel like the colors are more vibrant this yes, year. Yes, dude. Yeah, definitely more vibrant. What do you think? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the end. <laughs> Dude, hey, who's that at the end? I don't, I don't know. He was dude, a statue, I swear. <laughs> and then he moved. That's what Jay just said. It was a statue. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be a statue. Oh my god. There. Hello. Yeah, no, you booked it, bro. <laughs> I ran out of here. Dude, I was literally by myself. <laughs> no. Look at this normal, regular, regular dress person walked in front of me and I screamed. <laughs> She goes up on the employee. The tall guy on the steel has got him. He like pushed him and no one her in the corner and didn't let him out. That was so lit. Be aware everybody, the bathrooms are over here at the exit of Curse of Pandora's box. So if you do come uh, down to this Curious George parking lot area, there is bathrooms. Alright, we're walking back up to the upper lot. It's not really too bad of a walk, uh, but it is an uphill walk. So I just want to let people know you are walking uphill back to the upper lot. But man, this has been a lot of fun so far. <laughs> Definitely love opening night, Halloween Horror Nights. I do want to let people know the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Forbidden Journey is open today. Uh, the wait's about five minutes and they got lots of projections going on at the castle right now. It looks so beautiful. Uh, no dark art show or anything like that has been mentioned, but uh, it does look really, really nice. You just see all the projections going through the castle. It looks like it's been destroyed. Also, over here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Flight of Hippogriff is open. And it's actually really cool because it's all dark. Kind of gives you a better experience as you go throughout it. And they are still taking the photo uh, if you are interested. But both these rides have been five minute waits. So this is definitely a good time to come and uh, do some of the rides over here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I really wish they would do uh, Dark Arts. It'd be a perfect addition to Horror Nights. Making our way now over here by the Simpsons uh, ride. Uh, it is actually currently open and it's uh, I think a 20 minute wait or so. It's not too bad. Uh, one thing I will say, this is a safe zone. So if you are trying to take a break from all the scares or just need a breather or get some food, uh, definitely make your way out here to uh, Simpsons Land as uh, all the restaurants are open, even the Cookie Mart. All right, up next we're going to be going to the Terror Trap, the ultimate. Oh no. <laughs> Let's get the up next we're about to do the Terror Tram. It does say the last departure is at 11.15, so definitely be aware when the last terror tram goes because you don't want to come over here and uh, be out of luck. So 11.15, and uh, this is the terror tram, the ultimate purge. So I think it's all the purges combined. Yeah, it is, it is. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no horn, so I gotta do it. <laughs> oh, that's that's new. Uh, hello. What's... <laughs> hello. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, we got you. Tram 13, we got you. What's up? You have to help us. You've got to get these people out of here. You've got to do it now. Oh, okay. What people? Oh. Okay, well, what do you need from us? You have to get us out of here! Okay, slow down, slow down. What is going on? Listen to me. All the lies. There is no friend, Rico. They're killing everyone. Who's killing everybody? You have to get us out of here! We still need to grab our perch. What? But they're calling themselves. They 
saying hi to mom. Come take a photo op with Norman Bates. Do I get one photo per group? Uh, one Sorry.
So the Terra Tram Ultimate Purge 45, Haunting a Hill House 65, Bride of Frankenstein Lives 10, Halloween 430, Simpsons Ride 20. <laughs> Everybody loves the Simpsons. And then uh, the wait times are just great. They're just great. I'm trying to see, oh, Exorcist 15. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, everybody. Man, the Terror Tram Ultimate Purge, that is awesome. Really enjoyed uh, the whole the whole from beginning to end. That was great. Just got done with the Terror Tram. We're going to head to the lower lot now. This is where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is, Exorcist. And uh, this is where you could also get the themed food. Uh, it's the restaurant at the lower lot by... Uh, Panda Express, which is uh, themed after the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We're gonna try some food, try some drinks, let you guys know if it's good, bad, amazing. We're gonna find out. Over here in front of Jurassic World, they got this sign that says Danger Terror Lab. Cocktail and food lounge upstairs above Jurassic Outfitters. Uh, they got a Paloma, the Amber Mike Thai, Tahin Margarita, and a Mule. And then at the very bottom, they got a French bread pizza, Fritos pie, what? And Taki's pie. We gotta try this out. I didn't even know they were doing this, Danny. I know. Let's go get a drink or something. <laughs> Dude, they got the uh, the cup water spirits. Hopefully, we get to ride Jurassic World the ride. It's only like a five minute wait today. But these are the stairs that you gotta walk up to go to that Terra Lab. Let's do it. They also have an elevator if you are interested. Uh, it's over there by Jurassic Cafe in that vicinity. So. Rave on up here, dog. <laughs> so, this is where we come get our drinks and our food. Here we got the menu. Oh, yeah. We can check out the prices. They're not bad. 18, 15. Hey, that's, that's, that's Horror Night prices. Right. Yeah, they also got these cookies. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. That is so cool. Does it matter? All right, so I finally got my drink, got my worm. How cool is that? This is the Mai Tai right here. It also comes with that really cool straw. Got myself the pepperoni cheese bread as well. And then I got the Bride of Frankenstein cookie. So all this right here did cost 32 bucks. Pretty pricey, but uh, welcome to Halloween Horror Nights, right? Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how the drink is and how the pizza is, and then I think I'm gonna save the sugar cookie. Uh, I'm gonna save the sugar cookie for the house. All right, so we're gonna try out the Amber Mai Tai. Oh, whoa! Wow! Oh, wow! The tahini, that Mai Tai, that hits hard. I have to do one more trick to give a proper review. Woo! I did see them use cut water cans to do this mix. Uh, this is pretty strong, everybody. Watch out if you do get that. I'm gonna have to give that five fires. That was really good. Wow, that has a lot of kick. <laughs> so we just got done with the pizza. That is five fires, everybody. It's just like a, a bread toast with uh, marinara cheese and the pepperoni is great. I'm gonna have to give that five fires. Drinks five fires. And then uh, these treats are gonna be for the way home. Look who we found. We got Crystal and Chris in the house. Five fires, fam. How's it going? <laughs> How has the, the night gone so far for it's, you guys? It's such a vibe. It's so much fun. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. They got us really good at Exorcist yeah. because we were in the front. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're both faces. We were in the front. You get all the scares in yes, the front. Yes, they got us really good. Yeah. And the same for Texas Chainsaw. I know. I think the team members are doing it on purpose, yeah. man. Like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is scary. It yeah. was good, though. It was good. I was like, holding on to the whole time. Smash that like button, everyone. Yeah. Mano's yeah. the man right here. Don't forget, please subscribe. Crystal and Chris. Uh, thank you. Heck yeah. Check out their channel. Thank they you. also got a frequent fear, so they're going to keep coming back uh, in the near future. We'll be back in two days yeah. and every time. So Woo. hit that subscribe button, everyone. Right Let's go. Thank you, Crystal and Chris. Fire, fire. Damn. That is a big weenie. Who wants to kill it with me? What else? What else did you get, Jay? You got the nachos. Oh, yeah. Wow. Where's my jalapeno, bro? Yeah, they didn't give me no jalapenos. No. You're gonna get a jalapeno, dog. Hey, but you got plenty of weenie, dog. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> All right, Chris. What, what drink did you get over here at the uh, Terror Lab? I got the Cutwater Margarita, and I've never had Cutwater before. I mean, there was tahin on here, <laughs> but I kind of killed it. This is really good. The bartender said it was this was the strongest drink, so I'm not gonna pay $15 yeah, these, for not something that's not strong, you these know? These cut waters are they're, they're strong. I think I might have to start getting these instead of like white claws and stuff, man. <laughs> the seltzer's gotta go. Hey, one thing though, tell us about the straw. Well, I mean, hopefully that, that face kind of showed you disappointment. Okay, so the straw, literally there's a glow stick inside of it. If you try to if you try to suck it, it's like <laughs> it don't work. It's like, it feels like the straw's broken and all the like drink is coming out the straw, you're not even getting it. Yeah, so just drink from the cup. Yeah, just drink from the cup. Yeah. So th this is an L, yeah. 100%, so just drink look, it like look this. Look where mine is. <laughs> On top yeah. of the... <laughs> yeah, just drink it without the straw. That's yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, just bottoms up right here, bottoms you know? <laughs> How many fires for that drink? Dude, that's a five for Damn. sure, that's a five, yeah. I give mine five fires too. Yeah, man, the hey, don't drink anywhere else. Just come to the Terra Lab and get your drinks here, dude. Hell yeah. Don't forget though, you still gotta do the upper lot, Dia de los Muertos, uh, uh, whole closet. Yeah, I've had one drink from there. It was like the crown something. That one was really, really good. Plus you get the, the mug for $16. Actually, I'll show you guys. You got the mug? Oh yeah, yeah you got uh, $16 and you got the beer. Damn. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Okay, you guys got about 20 inches of that hot dog down. Uh, bitch. What, what, I mean, what, what'd you guys think? I'm gonna say bitch. It was, it was bomb. It was juicy. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was delicious. The flavors all just kick in once you take that first bite, and it's just like, oh, <laughs> it was really good. I highly recommend it. Definitely share it, obviously. Yes, you gotta share this with people. Yeah. <laughs> what, what about the nachos? What'd you think of the nachos? They were fire. Oh, they they just. They just yeah. forgot to put um, jalapenos. Yeah. Are they thirteen dollars good now? <laughs> Heck yeah! I'll definitely get one of those uh, hot dogs. If you come in a group, it's a good value. Yeah. All right, Crystal and Chris just got some drinks. They said the same thing. They're strong. Yeah, yeah. they're good though. They're, they're good. good. Uh, which one did you get, Chris? I got the mule. All right, the mule. Just like most mules, Moscow mules. If you like ginger, you'll like that because yeah. the ginger taste is there. She's not a big fan of the yeah, ginger. I usually stay away from yeah. that. So. <laughs> he always gets anything ginger and yeah. he loves it. But they're really good. If you like any kind of mules, yeah. this is a good one. The mules are a good yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, Crystal, which one did you get? I got the margarita. It's pretty strong. You can definitely <laughs> taste the tequila. And then yes. the tahini rim is really good. So, so watch it when you get these drinks. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. strong. Yeah, if you don't Sip like on them strong slow. drinks, and they give you this straw here, yeah, the glow straw. The it's a little okay. hard to suck it out yeah. of the mouth. They're giving it for a reason though. I gave up on the straw. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> so yeah. at this point we're just... I know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, they guys. To make the vibe, though. Heck yeah. yeah. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Just got done with uh, Terror Lab. This is up there above Jurassic Outfitters. Up next, we're about to go to one of the scariest mazes where I just feel so terrified every time. Exorcist. We're going to be doing the Exorcist. Uh, and then we're going to be doing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. One thing to note, I do want to let everybody know, there's no scare zones down here. No scare zones, Noah. It's boring. It just They're feels, missing it. it. It feels like we're missing something. It feels here. like we're missing something. Because yeah. wait, there's only one scare zone right uh, in the beginning. Well, the Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I didn't think about that. You're right. <laughs> yeah, no scare, zone, no scare zone down here today. Over here at Leather Faces, we have barbecue pork ribs, barbecue pulled chicken sandwich, the big monster dog, Texas chili and cheese nachos, uh, bloody funnel fingers, and then a Texas tea and uh, frozen jacket coat. 
This is the theme restaurant uh, from Leatherface's so Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And if you are wondering, over here by Transformers, if you go to the left, it's the Exorcist. To the right, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But we're going to Exorcist. It says 30 minutes right now. That's not that bad. And for Transformers, the ride only 10 minutes. Honestly, the waits have been pretty incredible. Nothing has been really over an hour. There it is. Hey, that's scary. 
That was so scary. Don't look her in the eyes, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, We're breathe. like ducking, dodging, holding <laughs> hands, running to the wall. I fell on the floor. Yes. You fell on the floor. Twice. We're like, man down. Man down. Man down. Man. Breathe, Jay. Breathe. Oh. Hey, that was scary. That yeah. Was. Uh, I, I, I feel yes. like the music and uh, just just being in the, like, like you feel like you're in the room, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Even before starting, we saw the dark, we're like, no. No. Andre, we're not going. how does it compare to previous years, dude? I noticed that the, the detail, walls. yeah, more black walls, like Jay's saying, but like, I noticed that the change in her mask was different compared to the 2016 walkthrough. So, okay. definitely more changes than that. Uh, there's new audio that they incorporated that wasn't uh, in the first time I went through it, so definitely uh, happy on that. There were a lot of reused props from the 2016 walkthrough that I did notice. Uh, some of the disappearing walls uh, did make their comeback in this maze, but overall it felt good to go back into Exorcist and thankfully we didn't come back possessed, so that's the <laughs> we're, we're not possessed. Yeah, we're not possessed. Thanks, <laughs> Andre. <laughs> hey, Jason, man down, dude. Hey, that was scary. He scary. fell on the floor. Oh, you fell on the floor? Oh my oh, god. He fell backwards. Oh, it jumped out at him and boom. They did a good job today. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. That was scary. It felt better the second time. Yeah. It felt better way, way they, better the second time. I, I feel like oh, I hit gosh. every scare. No, yeah. It was good. It was good. Oh, uh, Crystal. No. Hey, got me. Man, man down. What <laughs> man down. Man down. <laughs> down goes Fraser. What happened? <laughs> hey. It, 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 the music. And I then all the scenery going I on. I think I got it Man, on that, that, that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. That, think, one, that one I got my money's worth. I ran out with yeah. Yes. Like, I, I that made, that, that made the whole night. In my opinion. Man. <laughs> and, and then plus the drink before. Oh, you yeah. know? That helped. Yeah. You know, it did help. <laughs> Can't get a little buzz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Heart rate back up to 165. All right, Crystal, what'd you think? <laughs> I have no words because they are all going to be bad. Um, I can't, I, I literally cannot breathe. My heart rate is at 165. And and I had to run that last bit because all of them hopping out, I couldn't handle. I couldn't handle that it. That last bit is extreme, dude. Dude, the scares, they they come at your face in that one. This one looks yeah. really good, dude. Yeah. This, this was probably the scariest so far. Yeah. Well, just wait. We got all the heavy hitters still to come. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, yeah. Right Frankenstein. Halloween. Woo! We still got a lot of stuff to do. Let's a lot of stuff do to it. do. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, Texas Chainsaw Massacre up next. There Danny, what do you think so far of the event uh, with Express? How's the experience been? Oh, Express is great. Yeah. The only wait we had was uh, really at Haunting. Uh, Haunting of Hill House, and that was maybe 15 minutes. Hey, but we expected that to be a long wait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think predominantly uh, Exorcist and Haunting at Hill House have been the long wait. Yeah. yeah. The tragedy which and at least Exorcist, you're waiting years. inside air conditioning. In yeah, it feels nice in the soundstage. We finally get a chance to look at the facade for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> we always looked at it from all the way up there when we were doing our update videos. The remainder of the force left intact.
Tommy's coming to get him. He's gonna kill him. Walkthrough scare wise. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. I liked how they, the amount of like iconic scares that they had in there was cool. Oh, dude. And and uh, just all the chainsaw jump scares, they just worked perfectly. Yeah, I feel like they really made the storyline work really well in that game. Yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. My heart's bumping and racing. That's one of the more scarier ones. That's been one of the most scarier ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pandora and that one, for yeah. sure. Yeah. No, That's what's the think, first uh, maze that I've done tonight that was better than Orlando's. Wow! It, I told you that was that was way Texas better. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was it? Was it? You Hell yeah! Day? Yeah, they did a good job, huh? Yes, they did. Right. Uh, what do you think? Texas Chainsaw Massacre coming back? What do you think? Uh, it definitely a big improvement. Uh, it's smelled in there, so be on the lookout for that, guys. When you do go to this maze, if you're not used to that smell, I probably wouldn't recommend going to this one because you will get grossed out a lot. It was, it was pretty stinky. Dude. It was stinky. Uh, Stare The They got me a couple times in this one, so I was not expecting it. Really cool props and sets in there. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I love it. One thing to not forget over here at Universal Studios, they do got H2O, pH balance water. Uh, I think it was 545. Uh, you can get it over here next to Lard Lad. Dude, what I say about sweating out here? Oh my God, dude. I'm so glad I'm wearing a black shirt and a black hat and dude, black shorts. You don't stop sweating. Nah, and then you put the mask on to go through the maze. It's tough. And then it's it gets tough. a little warmer, but... But hey, I'm having a blast. Blast, dude. I wouldn't <laughs> trade it for the world. All right, everybody. We're walking to Demon City. Whoa! So Demon City is a scare zone. And it also has uh, Chainsaw Rangers at the very end by the entrance. Whoa! Oh, man. Look at that. Still locker. Wow, look at the fire towers. We're going to hang out in this scare zone later. Uh, we're going to see the chainsaw chase out later on tonight. Uh-oh, we got some demon action. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Damn, they are free. Oh. Look at what they're doing. Whoa. They're doing like Orlando. They're doing the after 11 p.m. Express. Oh, okay. For probably a discounted price. Hey, you that's can get a good Express. Deal. That's a really good deal. And so after 11, you get Express. Damn. The fire tower. Fire it up, man. The, the fire tower is so uh, yeah, beautiful. I know, dude. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, stop. Good job hey, out here, dog. He needs to relax. <laughs> hey, he wants you. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go get the blonde the one. The are coming. Yeah, I'm gonna get the blonde one. All right, all right.
man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. Whoa. going back there so it's only the people who are leaving the maze so that whole scare zone is literally just your party yeah. it's scary you got all the attention how'd you feel about the maze i don't know i don't know how i felt about it uh i think maybe we just got a bad walkthrough of it yeah because it wasn't my favorite for sure but i, I do want to do it again and, and see if it I, I feel like we missed a couple moments uh with the bride of frankenstein and frankenstein like interacting. i think so yeah. i think so there were a couple like opportunities that I could see were there and they yeah. did nothing. We, we were like at the tail end of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So maybe we do that one again later on. I think so. That was definitely worth the second one. Yeah. Definitely worth the second one. Yeah, we missed a couple of like the, the special moment kind of thing. Yeah, the fact that they didn't do like the whole Frankenstein like revive yeah, scene. that's what I was saying. We didn't get that scene. Yeah. yeah. All right, Andre, just got out of Frankenstein. What'd you think? Definitely amazing. Really beautiful maze. Uh, there was one part where one of those characters like really tilted over like that and I was like, oh my God. She got like really close to me and Crystal's face, big time. Uh, what'd you think about the scare zone? The scare zone's pretty cool. It's yeah. cool to see all the female versions of the monsters, you know, in their different forms, but definitely worth the experience. It's cool to see the Silver Spring Queens come alive now. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Made our way over here to the plaza. They got Dia de los Muertos, uh, Modelo. They got a lot of drinks to offer. I'll show you what they got. Let me show you the cocktails. These are the cocktails that they got to choose from. A smoked margarita, marigold floral crown, and then the chamoy fireball. Uh, Chris tried this one. He said the chamoy was a little too much. Uh, but they also got some beers, the Especial, uh, Modelo Negra, and Modelo Chalada. Also, too, over here at the plaza, they got the little cocina. And this is where you can get yourself some beef, uh, birria tacos for $10.99, uh, green chili, cheese tamale, grilled elote with tahines. Uh, they also got these chamoy pineapple skewer or spears for $6.99 and horchata churro bites for $5.99. That looks pretty good. A lot of people have been saying the tacos have been delicious. We got an awesome photo op over here for Dia de los Muertos. This is definitely one to not miss out. Uh, usually there's not a long line, so definitely hit this photo op right here. Oh, damn. Looking beautiful. Have a good night. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know, do not forget, outside of Starbucks, this is a scare zone, everybody. There's demons lurking all around every corner. She's oh, <laughs> getting a lot of scares today. Whoa! Everybody, we're in Chainsaw Rangers. So, over here by Halloween 4, there's chainsaws lurking around every corner. The devil comes out. Uh oh, uh oh, don't show fear. Don't show fear. <laughs> uh, we're about to do Halloween 4. This is the last phase of the day. Uh, we got a lot to talk about in regards to capacity. This is kind of like. I expected craziness. I mean, too. Not. It's been pretty decent tonight. I don't even think we've seen what one hour wait today, dude. No, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll talk about it later, though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, we will. You ready, Daddy? Halloween! Halloween! We are Halloween!
Maze of the night was uh, Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. It was awesome walkthrough, a lot of fun. Uh, to be honest, all the wait times, I don't think really anything reached 45 minutes throughout the whole night. Uh, I've been watching the, the times on the, the boards that they got. Uh, it really seems like Exorcist and Haunting a Hill House kind of have had the longest wait. Uh, right now we're doing uh, Halloween 4 again because it was just that much fun. Uh, we might only really wait like 10 minutes for this maze. Uh, it is about 11.40 in the day, so uh, on Friday today, opening night, or not Friday, Thursday, uh, the park's only going to be open till 1. Uh, I think on the weekends, it, it stays open till 2, so definitely check what time they close, uh, just so you know how to manage your time. Uh, but I'm wondering if we just did like standby today, if we would have had time to do all the mazes like in a reasonable time, and I kind of want to say yes. Uh, for the most part, uh, Universal has controlled capacity wonderfully. Uh, I've never felt overwhelmed in crowds or anything like that. Uh, the crowds have been great. Really good job, Universal Studios. Amazing job. And I felt comfortable, safe the whole time throughout this event. But like the thing. Andre, what did you think about, uh, there's like a couple Easter eggs. Things are different in Halloween 4 this year. Yes, they are. 
on the TV? What yes. was on the TV? Uh, if you guys know, if you guys know your Horror Nights history, uh, John Murdy does like to make little cameos in the mazes, and he plays like like cheesy characters. So if you guys uh, look at the TV in one section of the room, it's actually from uh, Titans of Terror that he did back in 2017. So keep a close eye on that when you go through this maze. Okay, and then the mask uh, in this maze, it's not really the Halloween four mask. No, and that's one thing that worried me because you know if they were to use the Halloween four mask, like nobody would be able to recognize Michael Myers. So they kept it to the 1978 original, which was good, yeah. but I like, because everybody recognizes him more for that. I think it's a good change. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good switch with the mask on that one. It definitely. All right, we're about to do Halloween four one more time. About to. Yeah, it might be one of our last mazes because yes. Thunder was all, was going down in Anaheim, dude. dude it's, and safety first, man. We yeah. ain't trying to be in no thunderstorm and out here. Don't worry, guys. We got frequent fears, so we're going to come back many more visits. Yeah. And uh, we're going to prioritize, hopefully, next time, uh, Chainsaw Chase out uh, at yes. the end of the night. We will. Uh, one more time, baby. Hey! Hey there! <laughs> okay, there's just too many Michaels at the I end. I know, at the end there's yeah. like five or six of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I, that's, that's my favorite walkthrough of the day. I'm, I don't know if I'm biased because I'm a Michael Meyer fan, but dude, oh my heart's bumping, man. Dude, Hor Halloween Horror Nights today has been awesome. The scare actors have been amazing. Uh, the, the pacing of the mazes has also been amazing. This has just been an amazing event from beginning to end. I've enjoyed everything. What'd you think second time around? It was good the second run. I liked it a lot more this time. You gotta, you gotta see more of the moment. Yeah, definitely. Dude, the head chop off. Oh, dude, that thing's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> dude, when you see that in person, you're like, damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, Before we end the night, we're gonna come to the studio store. 
check out some of the merch. Hopefully stuff's not sold out, Audrey. Yes, I'm hoping for that too. Yeah, people have been buying That's stuff. what we recommend, guys. If you do come to the event, just get it. Yeah. Because it's going to be gone. Do not wait. Do not wait. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a little walkthrough of all the merch they got. This is yes. a dirty shirt. Leatherface. Nice. Yeah. 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 We also got some lunch pills too. Frankenstein. And then they also got Exorcist. I know, the, the Exorcist lunchbox, dude. Dude, know. imagine me pulling up. Imagine me pulling up to Disney yeah. with my oh, Exorcist with lunchbox. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at hey guys, look what I got for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some soup. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the shirt is awesome, everybody. Uh, this one's 30 bucks and it does uh, oh, it, it black by it too. And then the one I'm wearing right now is this one right here, the Honey of Hill House. I love that shirt. And then uh, they also have uh, with the one with all the houses. Let's see if we can find it. Let's check out some of the Bride of Frankenstein lives. Also got it in a mug. And then they also got a couple of these pens here too. And then I was gonna got, say these are specific to Bride. Which one? Uh, like these. Oh yeah. See? I bought that shirt. Dude, I yeah. couldn't get out of here without walking away. That's, cool. That's a really nice one. Yeah. And the real cool part too about these shirts, uh, they're soft. Uh, they're not like the hard yep. shrinking shirts, you yep. know what I mean? Cause I already washed mine and it still stayed the same. Yep. Here's a shirt with all the mazes of this year. This one's also being sold for 30 bucks. I love that. I also got a poster. Yeah, that's cool. For this? Oh yeah, they got the pins too. Those are cool. Yeah, let's have the front. And then they also got it uh, with a sweater form too. Oh. You see that one, Noah? Oh, that's sick. That's and then cool. the front of it's super simple too. Look at just universal. And then you got on the side Halloween Horror Nights pass member. Pass members. You got to be a pass holder for that one. <laughs> they also got Terror Tram, the ultimate purge shirt. It was cool to see all those characters in the terror town today. Just got done buying a couple shirts. I hear the chainsaw chase is happening right now. It is uh, 12.38 a.m. So a lot of stuff going down over here. <laughs> let's see, let's try to do a walkthrough.
we're gonna follow that. That's how you just follow that. Exactly, exactly. Dude, that was sick. What do you think, Andre? Chase out, chase Best way to end the night, dude. Always the best way. Halloween Horror Nights, officially over. Yeah, day one. So that is it, everybody. Day one in the books. Epic night. From beginning to finish, all the scare actors. The whole experience has just been five fires. For sure. What dude. were your highlights of the night, Andre? Uh, for me, it was just being back at the event after a year hiatus, you know, after everything that we went through. It just feels good to be back inside Halloween Horror Nights again. Uh, yes, the event has some, you know, they had to alter the event a little bit, but thankfully it wasn't too, you know, where we we're gonna notice things too much. They pull off the effects pretty well in the maze. So, um, and I, the whole time I felt pretty safe. Yeah. That's the main key. Cause I know a lot of you guys are, you know, hesitant to come back out here. I would say just come back out, wear your mask like I am. If you do not feel comfortable being around other people, still wear it, whatever makes you feel safe. Yeah. Another thing too, I do feel like the walkways in the mazes were a little bit wider. Yeah. Uh, and the one thing I did like is that even though some scares were behind screens, they all kind of made sense and went with the story. Yes, and that's the that's the good thing that I like that they were able to pull that off pretty well. I don't feel like it took away from the maze at all. Yeah, that's the one thing I felt too. You know, I feel like they didn't take away the effect too much. You know, it worked out perfectly. They pulled off everything so well. Yeah. And it just worked out. Perfectly. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you for watching Five Fires YouTube. But we are barn it down, barn it down. The Cali Bay, Mr. Scary Dre. This bit is the Fockers night. It's calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah! <sighs>